Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you the top three best editing softwares for free with no watermarks. And these first two editing softwares are more beginner friendly, and the last one being for a little bit more advanced people. So let's just get straight into it. So the first software I'm going to be talking about is iMovie. And I know I'm on my iPhone for this, but I just don't have a Mac. But even on iPhone, iMovie, in my opinion, is still the best beginner video editing software. It's just very simple to navigate and all the features are very easy to understand. If you're a beginner, I think you'll have no problem with just a little bit of training how to edit videos in iMovie. And if you have a Mac or a MacBook as well, there's even more extra features. So as you can see, it's very easy to scroll through, very easy to split, and also you can detach the audio. Trimming is very, very simple as well. You can also change the speed of the video, the volume. You can add all different kinds of text, filters. You can voice over as well. And they have a really good list of different soundtracks. They're all copyright free, and most of them are actually pretty decent, as long as you're not using this. They also have some pretty good audio effects as well. And to this day, when my editor doesn't edit for me, I use iMovie to edit my videos. And this is what I've used ever since I started YouTube. And if you're using your iPhone, you can just relax on your bed or on a couch and just chill and edit. And uploading is very easy. You just press this button, press save video, and it will save right to your camera roll. So I approve of iMovie on your iPhone or on Mac. Okay, so the next software that we're going to be talking about is called Film 4. And this is a really good free software and it's available on the Microsoft Store. And as you can see, it looks very clean and it's easy to navigate. As you can see, if you go to this drop down right here, you can change the aspect ratio depending on what type of video you're making. And when you select it, you can press create new project. And from here, you can upload whatever clips, photos, or audio you want to put in your video. And once you put in your clip, it'll look like this. And you know this is a little too tall, so you can just drag this down like that. And other very useful features is by making the timeline bigger or smaller with this magnifying tool right here as you can see you can also trim the video like this you can also split it change the speed change the volume you can also detach the audio as well and as you can see there's all different types of layers for whatever you want to put in you can also add text as well and add a lot of effects also there's many different types of transitions you can choose from and you can shorten the length of them as you can see here and you can export your video by pressing save video and you can add custom video resolution and frame rate and if you want no watermark make sure that this box is in checked and you can get no watermark with your footage for free so in my opinion if you're first starting out and you don't have a mac this is a very simple software to use but in my opinion just a little step up from iMovie so this final software that we're going to be talking about is davinci resolve 17 and davinci resolve 17 is one of the most advanced free editing softwares out there and in most ways it's like adobe premiere pro and you can download it from the link in the description down below or you can go to blackmagicdesign.com so after downloading the software and first First opening up DaVinci Resolve. This is what the program will look like. And I know this looks really confusing, but trust me, you'll get the hang of it. And after this video, I'd recommend looking up some tutorials that explain all these features in detail. So first, let me show you all these tabs down here. But just a quick disclaimer, most of the time you'll just be using the editing tab. Here in the media tab, you can import your media. And here is the cut section as well, where you can cut up your footage. There's also the fusion section, which is for more advanced effects. You also have your color tab. So you know, you can edit the color of your footage, add some correction. You also have the Fairlight tab, where you can do voiceovers for your videos and more. You also have the Deliver tab, which we'll talk about in a second. But anyway, to import your video, you just want to press File, Import, Media, and then select whatever video you want to put in, and then you can just drag and drop it into the timeline. And as you can see, you have your layers, you have your audio here and your video here. To trim it down, you can do it like this. And to cut your footage, you want to select the Blade tool, and just select wherever you want to cut. You can also add effects, like all these video transitions, audio transitions, titles, and more. And when you're finally done editing your video, you can go to deliver. And when you're at the deliver section, most of the time you want to be on the YouTube tab. But if you're doing it for other platforms like Vimeo, Twitter, or exporting to Dropbox, and first you can change the file name to whatever you want. And you can choose the location of where you want your video to be saved, what format you want it to be in, frame rate, and resolution. And when you're all done with that, you can press add to render queue. And once you add it to the render queue, you want to press render all 
all and you'll be all set and also my editor approves of it he's personally used this before before he got adobe premiere and has created some of my videos with this program so if you're wanting to become more advanced but you don't want to rack out like 40 bucks a month for adobe then this is the perfect software to use also make sure to go in the description down below and subscribe to my editor as well because both of us work really hard on these videos and we'd really appreciate it if this video helped you guys out please go in the comments down below and comment your best tutorial ideas because i reply or look at every single comment that comes in so there's no reason not to and i'll subscribe to whoever gives me the best ideas so thank you guys so much for watching this video also if you're curious on how to edit yourself click on this video right here and it will take you to a video that will show you how you can get started